the Supreme Court ruled that the American Disability Act, ADA, now also extends to websites. This ruling came after a huge rise in lawsuits of disabled against businesses with websites that were not accessible to them. Which businesses need to make their website compliant? Well, everyone, whether you're a small business, a big business, e-commerce or service provider, whether you have a street-facing location, an office or working from home, your site is public-facing and, as such, needs to be compliant. Being compliant is not just the law, it's also better for business. 71% of web users with a disability will simply leave a website that is not accessible to them. According to a report from the U.S. Census Bureau, 51 million people in the U.S. age 15 and older have a disability. 19.9 million have difficulty lifting or grasping, impacting the use of a mouse or keyboard, and 8.1 million have a visual disability. They might rely on a screen magnifier or a screen reader, or might have a form of color blindness. The Census Bureau also reports that 7.6 million have a hearing disability. They might rely on transcripts and or captions for audio and video media. By making digital content accessible, your business can reach more customers that you are losing today. So let's recap. 1. Having your website ADA compliant is the law. Not meeting it can cost you $75,000 to $150,000 in fines, not including getting privately sued. 2. It's good for business as you extend your potential customer base. 3. And let's face it, it's also the right thing to do. If you had a hearing, sight, or motor disability, you would want websites to be accessible to you as well. But is being ADA compliant expensive? Not at all. In fact, there are even free options to start with. Connect with us today to protect your business and make it accessible to everyone. Book a free consultation.